Yo, what's up, everybody? My name is Jake Demai. I own and run a bookkeeping company that I started uh, from scratch about four and a half years ago. And I absolutely love my job. It has transformed and evolved over time. In the beginning, I, I did all the work. Um, I had to find the clients myself and I had to develop my own process and my way of doing things um, in the beginning. And so I, in this video, I kind of want to talk about um, how I manage my 50 clients and how I do that with my employee, how I delegate the work, how I manage the workflow. Um, I don't use any fancy softwares. I don't have like um, this like super complicated system. I basically just use one spreadsheet to to manage it all. And so that's what you can see here behind the screen behind me here. So let me just make myself a little bit smaller here. Move myself over. Um, this is the spreadsheet that I use with my employee. Um, and this is how I manage everything that I have. Now, you will, um, you know, you, for a lot of people, this video might not be interesting, especially if you're just starting your bookkeeping company, but it can at least give you an idea as to what you can expect when your business does grow. Um, and it, it might be a helpful video for those of you who um, have bookkeeping companies and you've been trying out different softwares. Um, this is the, this is what I use. Um, and I've tried a couple of different ones. I've tried keeper. Um, I've tried monday.com to kind of manage workflows, but in my opinion, I just love the good old fashioned, uh, spreadsheet. And so this is the spreadsheet I use for my employee. And again, it's super simple. Um, I'm able to collapse things. I'm able to create my own drop downs. Um, and I'll go through the detail as to like what exactly I'm doing here. So each of these, and I've, I've changed some of the, um, words obviously so that I don't compromise the the client information I have here. But um, for all 50 plus of my clients, I have um, basically one row per, per client. And so here you can see um, I have the priority level on this side. This shows um, you know when I want this client to get done. So if on a particular month, I want Joe Schmo's company to be done first, I'll put like the number one there, or maybe maybe if I want them to be exactly first, I'll do 0.5. I'll resort it so that they show up at the top. Um, and so that's kind of how I manage that priority. And so my employee who uh, is fully remote, by the way, um, she's able to look at this and she knows that, okay, this needs to be done first. And anything in red um, can, can be started by her. So let me just change that. Uh, and I have the deadline to complete only a few of my clients, uh, pay an expedited fee to have the work done sooner. And so, um, I promise to get it done within one to two weeks for them. And then here I have the complexity level, you know, some of the clients are super complicated. And so I put an eight, um, I have one client that is, uh, is a nine. They're like the most complicated. And some of my clients are like a two or three, um, and then especially towards the end here, I have a lot of like smaller clients that are, that are, a, little, that are a little bit easier. But in the beginning, the, um, I have some harder clients. And so I have the complexity level for my employee to know, and then the goal time for them. So my goal for each of these clients is, you know, the, the time that I expect my employee to, to take on each client is right here. So um, some of them take up to five hours. Now for me, it would take a lot less, but this is kind of like my... Um, how much time I think it should take my employee. And you can see that, you know, some of the clients are low, some of them are kind of medium. Um, but this is like the goal. This is what I am hoping um, the time takes for each client. And then my employee puts in the, the actual amount of time that she spends on each client. I don't ask her to keep like a, a running log of her time per se. Like she doesn't have to record 40 hours per week. I just ask her to get the work done and to put in the time it takes per client. I know that there's extra time spent um, with emails and like, you know, admin stuff that is outside of the client work. She doesn't include that there. Um, this is this column here is purely for my information to know, okay, how much is it taking her longer than um, it should be? Um, is there, is this, a, is this client a little bit harder than I anticipated? And and I expect this number to go down. Like some of these clients, like she's gotten better and better at over the months. I have a call. I have a tab for each month that she started with me. And, um, you know, I can see that this number is going down, um, per month. And every once in a while, there's like, you know, weird things like this client had, um, a banking issue where the transactions weren't coming through. And so they had to be, um, imported, but there was an issue with that. And so she added a comment explaining that, 
but this really helps me just gauge, you know, how, how things are going, um, you know, for each client. And then this is the date that it gets completed. Um, I also have like, you know, I just show when it's ready sometimes, um, before the month ends, she might have, my employee might have extra time on her hands and she can get the clients, um, updated partially before the close of the month. And so some of those clients can be done partially, like in the last week of the month, um, it can, it can be done. And then when it's ready, uh, it, it's marked as, you know, ready. Um, and then here I have the status. And so this is basically the, um, this is like the feature that I use the most. And so this is really helpful for me. Every client has a drop down where it starts at not started. Um, and then the employee will, um, when she gets started, she'll, she'll select, uh, in progress. And as she's working through it, once she has all of her questions, um, ready to go, she'll create an inquiry sheet. And in this inquiry sheet, I'll just show you an example here. This inquiry sheet, um, she'll have all of her questions. So, um, like unreconciled, um, items, uncategorized income, uncategorized expense with, um, her findings. And then I'll put in my remarks as to what to do. So I'll say like ask client, or I believe this pertains to blah, blah, blah. Um, this is kind of where I communicate with my employee for, on regarding specific transactions. And, and so once, um, it's ready, once, once she has the questions ready for, um, for me, it, she'll, she'll select inquiry sheet ready for Jake. When I add my comments, um, and when I provide, um, yeah, my, my notes on it, I will select inquiry sheet ready for employee. And that tells her that, um, it's ready for her. And basically anything that's in yellow is on her plate. Everything that's in blue is on my plate. And when it's green, it's done, or there's just a few extra updates that need to be made. Um, and so she will, once the inquiry sheet's ready for her, she'll finish up QuickBooks and she'll select QBO ready for Jake. Once it's in this step, step this indicates to me that I need to review QuickBooks. And so I jump into QuickBooks, I review it in detail. I send her a video, uh, like a review video, a Loom video, kind of like this, where I um, show her any changes that I make. And I go through pretty detailed. I'm, I'm pretty involved in all of these. Um, some clients are a little bit easier than others, but I still look at all the detail. I'm super involved in the client communications and everything like that. Um, so I will review it in detail, provide a video for her to save in the training videos. And after I've done, I'm done reviewing it, I'll select ready for email. And in this stage, she will, um, she will compile the financial statements in QuickBooks, and then she'll put together an email for me of all the questions that we have. And this email, um, it just has kind of in bullet points, all the things that um, we wanna to mention to the client. And I have the employee try her best to, um, to write you know, an email to the client. Because one day I want her to send the emails, but in the meantime, um, she's just kind of practicing and sending it to me first. And then I basically make it my own. I Sometimes I scrap the whole thing and write my own email. Uh, but for the most part, um, I use like the structure of the email and, and that's what I use to send to the client. It just saves me a little bit of time um, where I'm not you know, actually creating each email for each client. So once it is out, um, once she sends me the email, it's, she selects email sent to Jake. And after I send the email to the client, I'll select email sent to client. And that'll be when it's in green, it's basically complete. Uh, however, when there are questions sent to the client um, and they get back to us with answers, I will select updates needing QBO. It's still green. It's just a slightly uh, darker shade there. And that just reminds us to update QuickBooks later on in the month for those items. Um, so this status dropdown is really important. It's really helpful. Like I said, anything in blue is on my plate. Anything in yellow is on her plate. And when it's green, it's done. Um, so it is pretty satisfying to see kind of everything in green. And to me, it's helpful. It might look cluttery to you, but this is like exactly, it's really all I need. Um, and again, she has a link here to the inquiry sheets. And then here we have like the training videos. Um, and so I've linked, uh, you know, a Google doc to each client. So every client has an SOP, a standard operating procedure with videos from me on exactly how I do the client, because every single one of these clients I did myself, I, I never just give an employee, my employee, a client, um, from the beginning, um, every single one of these clients I've developed a specific process for, and I've worked on for months and years. 
So I, what I do is I create a loom video of, of me doing every single thing for the client. So some of the videos are like an hour or two hours long. And honestly, I didn't really care. I just did videos of me doing the job and talking through everything that I did. And that proved to be really helpful because my employee was able to copy uh, the way I did it because every client's a little bit unique. Every client's a little bit different. And so I um, create those videos. Sometimes it's like two or three videos of like instructions from me. And then this client, for example, they have like seven, seven videos of reviews from me. So every month I'll send a review, um, like a review video of any changes I made, like I said, and I'll, we'll save that in this SOP doc. And so, like I said, every client has a, a, a folder for that. And that's how we manage it. Um, any special notes I'll put here. But like I said, this is like customized to me. And so I can change um, whatever I want. You know, we add, we have a bunch of different tabs down here for each month. Um, she's got this pre-accounting checklist. And so <clears throat> she put, my employee put this together herself where for each client, uh, let me just take a water break. Hold on. Um, each client will um, have their own like password information, um, a checklist of what needs to be gathered ahead of time. And she'll gather all of that together. Um, and she just has a checklist for that, which is super um, good for the company. But yeah, that's basically it. That's This is kind of what I use. Um, it really, really helps me. It helps me um, gauge kind of the progress where we have. I mean, some, sometimes uh, we, we fall a little bit behind, but I totally trust my employee. Um, she handles all of this. And if we're a little bit behind, I don't stress about it. Uh, you know, my, my employee does a really good job of uh, managing her time. And every once in a while, something will come up and I tell her like, hey, if you want me to do a client to help out, um, you know, let me know. But for the most part, she's able to handle um, pretty much all of these employees. So that's pretty much the video, guys. Um, not sure if this is helpful for you, for you or not. At least it gives you an idea as to what I do um, behind the scenes. This is obviously a copy of the real thing, um, but it works really well for me. Um, if you want this spreadsheet, um, let me know. I, um, I may, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. I, I might sell this. Um, and so if you're interested in purchasing this, let me know. It's nothing special, but at least, um, it's a template that you could use. So thanks guys for listening. Uh, please like, and subscribe. Um, and I will, uh, continue to make these videos for you so that you can create your own bookkeeping company one day. Um, or you can grow the one that you currently have to be um, as successful as mine. Uh, thanks, guys.